What is up, Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan, and we are checking back in from the Universal Orlando Resort for yet another Jurassic Roller Coaster Project construction update. Hopefully, there's been a lot of progress since our last update. Let's go! One small thing to note, the Quiet Flight Surf Shop, well, it used to have a bypass so you could get over to studios quicker, but the store is halved, as in it's only half a store now. They've closed it off. Something new, potentially, could be coming to this location. We'll let you know, though. Hot set, hot set. We got some filming going on here today. Not sure what. Maybe we'll see him. Hello, Islands of Adventure, and hello, Tower Crane, right above Hulk. And that's going to be for the Jurassic Roller Coaster. As always, it's good to be back. Gotta love that entry music, too. Still no haggards on the high indication sign outside of the park. Maybe one day. And uh, outside of the park, well, not very busy. As we can see, pretty much all the turnstiles are closed up. Park is uh, closing at 7 p.m. today. Studios at 6. It's about 5-ish or so right now, so I'm not expecting it to be too busy. Parking lot was pretty easy to get in. And yeah, pretty much no way to get through the turnstiles. One other thing. UOP Annual Pass. So they have a special line over here now. They didn't used to have this, but you can see pass holders can come right over here to a specialty line. Yep, no way to get through, and we are on our way. Today, I'm using the cell phone. I'm going to admit it, we don't have the big camera. I actually came here because I want to ride Hagrid, so I haven't done that in quite a while. I don't want to pay for a locker. I know, cheap, cheap, whatever. But yeah, we're still going to check on Jurassic. But hey, at least we're getting an update, right? Let's check out the park hours. Park is open until 7 p.m. Hulk at 15 minutes. Doctor Doom, 10 minutes, 25 for Kong. On the next page, we have P-Flyers, 40 minutes, 55 minutes for Fly of the Hippogriff, 35 for Seuss Trolley, wow. And of course, we have Hagrid's, 75 minutes. Not too terrible. Normally, we would get a view right over here at the front entrance, looking out over towards Jurassic Park, but it's blocked off for an event. But we can see the tower crane right there, two other ones right off to the side. A lot of work is going on right now. All right, that's a little better view as we can see those cranes right there in the air. Lots of ground vehicles. And I'm seeing those foundations in the water for what will eventually be supporting for the roller coaster. All right, so just to catch some of you guys up to speed that don't know anything about the project, yes, it's a roller coaster and a lot of it has already arrived. It's in a stores lot over by Epic Universe. We've shown that in previous updates. And we've been talking about this project for quite a while. Long before any other reports and rumors came out or layouts and stuff like that, we were telling you about a 540 degree helix over here, an inversion over the water, and a top hat over here. And sure enough, it's looking like that. Popeye and Bluto's. Giant tower crane, and just the first of a couple. With it being a little bit of a Florida winter, well, wait times for water rides, not bad. Only 10 minutes for Popeyes. And now for our closest view of everything that's going on again, those cranes rising way into the air. We have foundations just off to the left over here. And a lot of work going on for the launch tunnel. We'll show you that a little bit better in a second. We have some barricades and barriers right out here. Again, sediment barriers, keeping dirt out of the water. Barges over there, crane, more vehicles.
And just over here, we can see the work walls up. Just like in our last update, they do extend all the way down. And we're gonna get a much better view of those foundations right over here by the pumps. Again, door for entry there, cranes right there. It's around the corner over here. Foundations. And we talked a little bit earlier about a launch tunnel and sure enough, there it is. It's looking pretty good and we can see the foundations just below it and that's gonna be for the top hat. So again, a couple other things to note. This tower crane is gonna be for pretty much the spaghetti bowl portion of the ride, which is gonna be over there. Launch tunnel, which is right here, should have some track maybe in the next couple weeks because they gotta do a lot of stuff over the top of it. So that tower crane might be putting some stuff in very soon. What is this that I see? Some barricades and whatnot. Possibly some painting going on over here by Dudley Do-Rights. I don't know, we'll see. And speaking of Dudleys, well, we see some brave souls on there right now. Again, braving Florida winter. Wait times are not bad, though. And it doesn't matter where you go inside Islands of Adventure, you're going to see that tower crane and a couple others whenever you're here. Skull Island, Raina Kong, the big guy, currently with a 25-minute wait. Not too bad, but again, we're interested in Hagrid's today. Jurassic Park River Adventure, and it just came back from a little refurb. As we can see, the rock work and the fountains going right now. Hopefully, a ride vehicle will be by very shortly. Nothing too crazy in terms of changes, just a couple touch up things here and there, and nothing in terms of Jurassic World. Again, not thinking we're really going to be getting the update, but if things change, we will let you know. Oh, and look, there's a boat. Camp Jurassic and directly across from that big tower crane. And there's some changes to the pathway up here too. Again, tower crane right there. Work walls with the Jurassic emblem. And the pathway has shifted. Again, we used to go that direction. Now we're going this direction. Back over by Pizza Predatoria and we can see River Adventure right there. Five minute wait, not bad. Here's the gauntlet. We can see some vehicles there. And that tower crane, again, just rising way up. If you remember in other updates, we had work walls over here and it looks like maybe this is new. This might be some new pathway right here, but the uh, Raptor encounter, the new one, well, it's gonna be happening right behind these work walls. And the coaster, again, spaghetti portion right over here. There's gonna be a really tall element right here as well in this section. And then some craziness over there. Tons of rock work also coming to this project. All right, so this is definitely new, and I'm thinking this is for electrical and plumbing, as you can see the pathway right there, and this swath is different, and yeah, I'm thinking electrical connections go right through there. And the current Raptor encounter, again, still here, terrifying guests with blue. Pizza Predatoria, though, closed, and our last update, it was open, but not right now. And Crane, another vehicle, the one uh, pathway over here over towards the Raptor Encounter and restrooms. This way over towards Discovery Center. Looks to be about the same. And the current Raptor Encounter, again, still here. Terrifying guests with blue. Pizza Predatoria, though, closed. And our last update, it was open, but not right now. And Crane, another vehicle, the one uh, pathway over here, over towards the Raptor Encounter and restrooms way over towards Discovery Center. Looks to be about the same. And just for reference, that other pathway that we used to take was right here. So again, walled off now. And Burger Digs, again, bottom level is still not open. 
they're uh, going through some stuff. That's all I'm gonna say. And this area over here is looking kind of bare, actually. And the pathway towards the bypass bridge going that way, but this is weird. Look at this. So a lot of trees have been removed. For some reason, not sure why, but great view of Hogwarts Castle now. Sight lines? What are those? Well, we can see the show building right there. For Forbidden Journey. Work walls up right here. Again, something's going on, not sure what. We'll keep you updated. Again, bypass bridge area. Lights over here. They are working at night for a lot of the project. Cranes right over this direction. It's kind of nice getting so close to the uh, construction site. One of the entry gates right there for crews. And then turning this way again, bypass bridge. Again, 540 degree style helix right here, You're right overhead. Cannot wait. Again, this is kind of a weird feeling hearing the Jurassic Park music. Seeing the big old sign, no fire either. No! But then right here, work walls, show building, and Potter. And here we are, we've arrived in Hogsmeade. You can see Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure showing 120 minute wait. I don't think we're gonna wait that long, but we are gonna hop in line, hopefully catch a ride. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Haggard's is running at full capacity now, too. Well, guys, that's going to do it for our video here from the Universal Orlando Resort for yet another Jurassic Roller Coaster construction update. And as we saw, a bunch of work is going on. A tower crane is now in the air, and I'm expecting track placement hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that and anything else going on here at the Universal Orlando Resort. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.